Hey guys, it's Desi here. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video, I'm going to be trying out the Ole Henriksen skincare range. And I'm going to be trying out the Truth section of their skincare range, which is their brightening products, which I've been dying to try for a long time. So these products are focused on brightening up your skin, any type of pigmentation that you have that you want to remove, like for example, I suffer from acne scarring, so I thought these products would be amazing for that. So I was really excited to try them out. The products that I'll be trying out today are three products. So I've got a cleanser, a serum, and a moisturizer. So these are the products that really stood out to me and some of the fan favorites, so I thought, why not try those out? So I have oily combination skin and I suffer from acne quite often, especially lately, it has been crazy. I've been using these products for about a month now and I have final opinions about how I feel about them and whether or not I would recommend them to you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a demo. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my cleanser. So this is the Truth Juice Daily Cleanser and as you can see, it kind of is the same color as all their products. It's like orange. Um, it's a bit deflated now because I've used quite a lot of it. So this cleanser is meant to be an everyday cleanser which is made with orange, fruit water and PHA. And the main features are it's meant to remove oil and dirt and any hardcore makeup. And it's also meant to leave your skin energized and refreshed after using it. So it's pretty exciting. and. From what I've gathered after using this product, I could definitely say that it has been a really great experience using this. So I'm going to go ahead and use it and tell you guys how I feel. I'm just using like about a dollop of this stuff here and it's very kind of like a peachy color. And it's got a really intense orangey smell which I think some people may love and others may not really like. So this goes on really really nicely. It's very smooth and it is a very hydrating which I actually quite enjoy from this specific one. It also is a very good cleanser. It actually cleans your skin out unlike some hydrating cleansers that I've used before which is a very odd combination. I feel like it really does a good job of refreshing my skin it feels really clean as well I really enjoy the smell of orange because it makes me feel like really fresh when I'm washing my face if that makes sense so I'm gonna wash this off and as you guys can see it went on pretty nice um, I feel like it's it's very hydrating like once I take it off you guys will see my skin is very clean it takes all the gunk out of my pores which is what I want mainly out of a cleanser but also leaves me feeling refreshed which I quite enjoy a very odd combination I would say and I'm really enjoying it I think my face looks visibly glowing I just like the way it makes my skin feel and look I feel refreshed but also not really dry so the cleanser retails for about $28 and I think it's a steal at this price to be honest I really really enjoy this cleanser it's definitely something I would buy again so I'm gonna go ahead and let this kind of dry out air dry for a bit and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and use this serum and let you guys know how I feel about that so the next product that I'm gonna start using is the true serum now this stuff here it's got a life of its own because everyone has used it all over social media people love this stuff and it's probably the inspiration for me buying this whole um, kit in the first place because of this stuff here. So this stuff retails for about $50. So the Truth Serum is enriched with orange and green tea extracts and it's a fast absorbing oil free vitamin C serum formula which revives the complexion. So it's meant to be a very much like a firming, brightening, all in one hydrating tool and it's also meant to target any visible signs of aging, like really firm up your skin and make that stuff bounce back. My experience with this product, as you can see, I've basically used up most of it, but my experience with this stuff has been quite a positive one. Um, it is quite an expensive serum for what it is, I think. So overall, I think it actually does make a difference, but for the difference that it's making, I'm not sure if it's worth it in the end. So you would apply this once a day, um, which is what's recommended on the bottle here. I started applying it twice a day because I was like, I'm gonna get the full effects of it, but I feel like that's just a waste in like my own opinion. I use about a pump, it's about a pump of product to apply all over my face. And you're supposed to let this kind of like sit on your face and dry until like before you apply any other products. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I will say the serum is very moisturizing. It is slightly tacky though. Even when it's dry, it's not like, you know, smooth or anything, which is very common in serums. It definitely also smells like oranges if you're wondering. Overall with this product, I do think for $50, it does what it says it's going to do. It's definitely brightening. It's definitely firming. But I think it's overpriced in my opinion. It's the most expensive thing out of all these three products. And I think that with other products from let's say The Ordinary, which are like, like a slash of this price, you could get very similar effects. And I probably would not buy this serum again just for that specific reason. But it definitely does work. Um, and I definitely think that it does do what it says it's going to do, but not in a way that's like mind blowing. It's not an overnight change or anything like that. So it's not something I would definitely I would invest in again. Um, I do like the way it feels and I do like the way it works but to me it just is not worth it. So again this does retail for $50 and um, yeah it's a very tiny bottle. <laughs> I think you can get bigger bottles of this as well if you're really really into this serum as well but um, yeah thank god I got this size bottle because I don't think I'll be purchasing this stuff again. So the next product in the range is their moisturizer. So this is the Sea Rush Brightening gel cream and this stuff retails for about $46 as well so it's on the higher end of the price range for these other products um, with this product I actually quite enjoyed using this moisturizer so this gel is meant to be an illuminating and energizing gel its main features are it targets fine lines and wrinkles and renews youthful radiance and firm skin so it has a random added benefit of being a good primer i guess that's what they're trying to claim here for makeup so the main features of this cream is that it's meant to give you a super hydrated finish target any fine lines in your skin firm up your skin and also overall brighten your skin so this has been an actually a very good experience with this moisturizer i've actually quite liked it because i usually find that a lot of moisturizers that i use sit on top of your face and don't actually absorb into your skin and this is quite the con like the opposite it actually absorbs into your skin which i really really love and just does not sit on there leaving like a fatty feeling filmy layer if you know what I mean like an oily film on your face so I really enjoyed this experience and I'll put this guy on so you guys can see so I use about this much um this is a bit a lot but I love like hydrating my skin like I love moisturizing my skin and again this definitely has an orange scent <laughs> it's like an orange starburst you know like the starburst candies like this is what this smells like but yeah, so overall, I really, really did like this moisturizer. Um, so $46 again, and this is probably one of my favorite products as well in this range. So I would say the cleanser is something I would definitely buy again, and the moisturizer is also something I would buy again. Um, I do already have a moisturizer that I really like, which is a Neutrogena one, but this one I feel like it gives you the hydration but also gives you just like the moisturization if that makes sense for $46 I probably would have to use this sparingly to be honest because it's expensive and I moisturize my face every day so this would have to be like a once in a while or a specific moisturizer that I use when I'm having issues with my skin so overall, I think this range has definitely helped to brighten the dark marks around my face. I definitely would recommend these products, specifically the cleanser and the moisturizer. The True Serum, I think it definitely does what it says it's going to do. But for the price, I really don't think it's worth it. But um, that's a personal choice. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you did. I'm going to be doing a review of the Ordinary Skincare range next and I'm going to let you guys know how that goes. So make sure to subscribe to, you know, get reminded about that when that happens. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any comments about these products or any other products that you guys want me to try out in the future and I will definitely do that and yeah.